Hi guys, stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how to win this pack of pencils by Arteza. Hello everyone, it's Kiri and in today's video I'm going to be working on some mixed media art and I'll be using some supplies that were sent to me by Arteza. So first thing that they sent me was this pack of paper and this is a 20 sheet DIY framed mixed media pad. So there's 20 sheets and what it is is that they're, the sheets are able to be folded so it makes them into sort of like a canvas. I don't know if you can see on camera but it's perforated so you can pop it out and then fold it up and make it into a canvas. So I'll be showing after I've, or I guess I'll do it before I complete my artwork and I'll show you guys how I do that. But there's 20 sheets and at first glance it feels like some nice cardstock. It's smooth. I don't see any like texture. It's just smooth and it's very, uh, it's pretty nice and thick. I have some of their other mixed media pads and uh, they're not this thick. This is a, more of like a card stock than their mixed media paper. It's 228 pound and it's 9 by 12 unfolded but it's 5 by 6.6 .6 inches once it's all folded up. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And the next thing that they sent me were these, I've been really wanting to get these. These are some mini paint brushes. And of course, being that we do a lot of doll work, these are perfect. There are 15 different paint brushes and they're all kind of like, they look like watercolor brushes. I'll show you the back. So it looks like there's three different kinds. There's five of the liner brushes, five of the spot brushes, and five round. This is their premium level. And this one looks like the top kind of popped off. So they have all got some of that um, sizing in them, so they're kind of stiff at first. But once you get them wet, so they, these are nice. I feel like a little bit of a bounce, but they are pretty soft. So that's just how I hoped they would be. Nice and soft. So they'd hold like some, it seems like that we'll, we'll see, but they may hold some water. So it'd be good for watercolor, but also have enough stiffness that they could be used for like acrylics. Um, but very tiny and I think these will work great so I'll show you guys how they work so the liner are the ones I believe that are longer like this one and then let's see spot would be the ones that don't come to a point, I guess, is what they're saying. Looks like this one, maybe. And then round is more like these, which would be good for adding, for me, I would use them for adding like the Liquitex gloss varnish to the eyes. So I'm not sure if that's correct as far as which is which, but regardless, they're all, it looks like almost all of them I'll definitely use. Okay. And then next I got a pack of six erasers. And if you guys are usually tuned into my channel, you know that I use this type of um, eraser for my dolls. So I'm excited to try these. Um, these are really good because you can sharpen them. This pack even comes with the sharpener, which is good because I always worry about using my regular sharpener for the erasers because I'm, I just feel like it kind of dulls it out maybe. I don't know that for sure, but it seems like it would. So that's nice that they'll have, I have my own sharpener for these. And what is great about this set is 
this brush part is very soft. It's you know still got some bounce, so you're gonna get rid of those eraser shavings, but it's nice. It is nice and soft and delicate. So that um, I would normally worry about using that on the face after erasing, but these are gonna be fantastic because they're nice and soft, and that'll that won't damage or scrape, make little tiny scratches in the face of the dolls that I work on. So I'm also going to use these with my mixed media, so I'll get started on that shortly. Um, but first, the last product that was sent to me. Oh, before I do that, I just want to take another quick look at the pencils. So these are really, these look really nice in quality. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that they have um, Arteza's name on them. They're a nice black painted coating and um, the wood looks nice and clean as far as how it would sharpen. I'll go ahead and sharpen one. Yeah, that sharpens really, really nice. And then I'm um, gonna see if I can do a quick... test so I can see how these erase. Okay, the eraser is a little soft, which I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit firmer, but there's always a purpose. I like to have a couple of different um, kinds of erasers, some soft, some harder, because it just depends on what you want to erase, especially when you're doing working on dolls. So it erases nice. Like I said, it's a little soft as far as erasers go, which, you know, I'll just use it in a different way than I intended because they look like they'd be a little bit harder, and um, which is not, you know, necessarily a good thing. Sometimes you want it to be soft like this. A lot of times you want it to be soft like this, especially when you're working on doll faces because it's a lot more gentle and you can, you know, take off some of those layers without damaging the ones underneath. So if you draw a line on top of, say, something you had, some sealant you had done, um, you're not, you're likely, you're less likely to go through that sealant to the next layer and start taking off work you've already tried to seal if you're using a nice soft uh, eraser like this. So that's some uh, good stuff. And then the nice soft brush. I, I can't say enough good things about how soft and, and uh, nice this it, the brushes on the end. It's going to be perfect for brushing away those eraser shavings on a doll face up. So the last item in the shipment I received from Arteza is this pack of watercolor pencils. In a previous video I've already shown the pack of 72, but this is the pack of a whopping 120 pencils. I'm showing that this pack retails currently for $76.99. But if you check out the description box below, you'll see a link to the Arteza website along with a 10% off coupon. So in the project that I'm working on today, I'll be using all of these supplies. I just wanted to mention that they performed beautifully. I'm not being paid by Arteza to review any of these items. You already know I love Arteza's pencils, and I was super thrilled to get this large set of 120. There are a ton of colors in there that I don't already own, and just lots of shades of grays and pinks. It was great to have more neutrals, more yellows, um, shades of gray, just a lot of extra colors. The mixed media paper was great. It was more like a really thick cardstock, so it held up really well when working on all of the products that I used for the mixed media. I can see it warping a bit if it gets too wet, but I really went to town on the glue and it held up great. Uh, while they are not as sturdy as canvas, it's an awesome alternative if you wanted an inexpensive way to do a little decorating. So here you can see me putting it together. I did use a little bit of glue, but once I got the hang of it, I really didn't even need to do that. Um, I was kind of having a little trouble folding it in and keeping it where it needed to be to attach the ends. Um, once I did it, I realized once I do the next one, it'll be a lot easier. There's instructions on the back of the pad like I showed there. 
So like I said, it's not as sturdy as canvas, but it is a good alternative if you wanted an inexpensive way to show your artwork or share or do a little decorating. Here you can see I'm adding my mixed media paper and I'm using a ton of glue and it really held up well to that really watery glue. Um, did warp a tiny bit in the, in the center, but once it dried, it just straightened right out. So um, like I said, I'm going to use all of the products in this what I'm working on today. I found the erasers just perfect to erase on the canvas gently. I was erasing on top of this paper from an old book and it really didn't tear it apart. It was very soft. So those will work good on, you know, usually on this channel, as you know, I work on doll art and it'll work. So that would work really good on the faces of the dolls. I'm crazy about the detail paint brushes. Those are going to work fantastic on the doll art that I do. And so I'll showcase all of these at, on my doll art and other videos in the future videos but um, you know I'm using them in mixed media well so they're very versatile um, the paint brushes the bristles are super soft not too soft they're perfect for working with acrylic paint but they also work really well with watercolor they'll um, absorb and hold um, a nice bit of water for such a tiny pencil so for the project I'm working on today, it's a Halloween project. I'm working on an Elvira mixed media painting. And I made this into prints for my October reward for my patrons, as well as an embellished print option on my, um, for my mixed media art on my Etsy shop. And the links to those are in the description box below. So I usually when I do my mixed media, I don't do a voiceover through it because it's just kind of play around with the different products and uh, so I won't uh, do much talk much longer I'll let you just enjoy watching the, me put this together um, but I did use various inks and the the products that I used uh, by Arteza of course the canvas and then the detail paint brushes and pencils came a little bit later when I was working on some of the the, the drawing and detail work at the end so I wanted to mention for more inspiring projects make sure to check out the Arteza YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Arteza that link is also in the description box below and like I mentioned, stay to the, tuned to the end of this video where you can learn how to win a pack of 120 colored pencils. So enjoy the artwork, and I'll be back in a little bit.
So I hope you guys enjoyed me putting together this little bit of Halloween artwork. And I, uh, so now to the giveaway. So due to a bit of a mix up, I received an extra pack of 120 colored pencils. They're not the watercolor pencils, but they're colored pencils that are great for colored pencil drawings. Since I wasn't gonna use them on this project, Arteza was kind enough to allow me to do a giveaway with them. So it's a brand new pack of 120 colored pencils by Arteza. They're professional uh, colored pencils. So here's how you can enter to win this 120 pack. So first make sure, the, and these, these instructions are in the description box below, but make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well as Arteza's channel. And then to like this comment, or I'm sorry, like and comment the Art on the Arteza video that's in the description box below. Like and comment on this video. And that's it. So I'll go through that again because I kind of messed up a little bit. But number one, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and Arteza's channel on YouTube. Number two, like and comment on this video and like and comment on Arteza's video that's in the description box below. And that's it. So I hope you guys um, are having a great Halloween. The, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The winner will be chosen at random and announced in my next video. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and fall season. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.